being ready and having everything pre-planned will make your life successful. Profession is the professional development and career guidance unit of pro studies, which help you to explore the unexplored areas of profession and the world of work. It not only functions as a forum which makes you aware of different avenues of the profession, but also it aims to connect and bring the professional community and the student community to a single platform. This will feature the eminent personalities who have excelled in their heights in law and other law related fields and careers. You will be able to enlighten yourself with all the experience and expertise while being at home. We strive for progress. You all are aware of the online study sessions, pro studies mobile application, website, and profession is the novel initiative, a vital opportunity for the entire law student fraternity. Especially in order to benefit the law students at large, we are proud to join hands with the lead generation of Faculty of Law, University of Colombo. Together, we bring you this wonderful experience to expand your horizons, widen your knowledge, and heighten your courage, and have no fear to enter the profession. Awake the professional in you. No. fifth session of the online discussion and lecture series on professional development and career guidance targeting law students, apprentices and junior lawyers. And this is a joint collaboration of pro studies of Sri Lanka Law College and lead generation of Faculty of Law, University of Colombo. We warmly welcome all the participants for this online session. And for today's topic, role of Attorney General's Department in criminal justice system, we would like to welcome our guest speaker, a uh, versatile and well experienced senior prosecutor who has prosecuted landmark cases in Sri Lanka, a holder of bachelor's degree in applied science of University of Sri Javardhanapura and master's in criminology and criminal justice from the University of Oxford and was instrumental in introducing DNA and telephone evidence in Sri Lankan. Trividel Coden has three decades of professional experience in diverse fields. A well-rounded individual, a bond leader, a presenter, and was a lecturer of law of evidence and criminal procedure of the Faculty of Law, as well as Sri Lanka Law College, and the author of the seminal text of evidence, Yali Mavena Aparadyak, and contributed to many academic journals. Was also a judge of the Court of Appeal in Fiji, the Director General of Commission to Investigate Allegations on Bribery and Corruption, was able to formulate a launch in Sri Lanka's first national action plan of combating the menace of bribery and corruption. And other than Senior Additional Solicitor General of the Attorney General's Department, President's Council, Mr. Sarak Jaman. We warmly welcome you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Charit, for your invitation. And thank you very much for your organization for inviting me to share my uh, various experience in different fields. Right, certainly. ेषण विविध मार्ग पीले बंदे वो अवगत हैं नुवात करने टे ये वाक्य में बोर्डीय प्रजाव हा शिष्य प्रजाव एक अम्म वैदिक का वक्त संबंध करते मीन अवगत सार्थक आत्मे माम पैतृत विवर करने टे और अब विश्वविद्यालय नीति पीठे लीड जनरेशन हा समग्र कातल बंदे करने मीन निर्माणे कल स्विसेशी मार्ग का ते देशन जनाधिपति 
Today, our topic is uh, the role of the Attorney General's Department in criminal justice system. Uh, briefly, as an introduction to the topic for today, well, what is the purpose of Attorney General in the criminal justice system? Can we little bit explain yes. about this? So what is criminal justice? Uh, criminal justice uh, from a particular angle, what we can say is, if there is any criminal offense against the society, one of the theories in criminology is that you have to take action and punish the offender. When you punish the offender, we presume that it will be deterrent to others. So therefore, others will not commit offenses. And once a person is sentenced to jail, he will lose the opportunity of committing a crime again. So one of the successful method or the, one of the methods followed by the criminologists is to conduct investigations, thereafter launch a prosecution, and thereafter judges will arrive at a judgment, and if convicted, he'll be sentenced to jail. So now, how do you do that? These are the four organs of the criminal justice system. And when one commits a criminal offense, there may be an individual victim, but in the eyes of law, that offense is committed against the entire society. For example, even in a murder case, even in a robbery case, even in a rape case, there you can find an individual victim. But law expert, law expects state to come and conduct the investigation. Who conducts the investigation? The investigations are conducted by the law enforcement agencies, mainly the police department. Then who conduct the prosecution? Prosecution is exclusively confined to the attorney general in high courts. So when he conducts the prosecution in high court, he is referred to as a prosecutor. Attorney general has a multifaceted basis. One of the faces is he is the chief prosecutor in the country. When it comes to criminal prosecution, though he is a, he's an employee, the employee of the government, he does not, he is not required to follow the dictates or the, any order of the government. He is an independent person. He has to take a decision. What is the decision? Whether he is going to indict the person or whether he's not going to indict the person. If the, case, the person is indicted, he has to do the prosecution through its officers. So therefore, in the, in the criminal justice system, he has a multifaceted role to take a decision whether to prosecute or not. Actually, these are, one would say, the branches of criminal law. When it comes to civil law also, there are many a role the attorney general is required to perform because he is the chief legal officer of the government. And there are many instances he is required to give the assistance in the form of in the form of civil matters. I will explain those details later. So for the time being, I would say attorney general, his role is quasi-judicial decision. He is a detached person, he is not dependent on anyone. He has to take an objective decision and he has to do the, uh, he has to give the guidance to the prosecutors. He has to, he can give the advice to the police as well. So in a nutshell, uh, that is the main role of the Attorney General uh, Charit. Yes. Right. Thank you very much sir, for this wonderful introduction for the topic. And sir, can you a little bit uh, briefly explain, elaborate on what is the role of a prosecutor? Okay. Thank you very much. You know, once uh, investigations are conducted by a law enforcement agencies, main law enforcement agency would be the police. In addition to that, there can be other law enforcement agencies. Like, for example, there are various statutes. Under the statute, maybe the wildlife authorities, forest authorities, custom authorities, they also have the power to conduct investigation. Even whoever conduct the investigation, at the end of the investigation, what should they do? They have to look at their respective laws. For example, if it is the police, they have to conduct investigation 
in accordance with the criminal procedure code so what are the offenses offenses they are in the penal code so once they complete their investigations they are required to send the dossier of investigations that is called ib extracts information book extracts to the attorney general so once they send the information extracts to attorney general by looking at the material he has to take a couple of decisions what are the decisions he has to see whether the material would reveal any offense in the case if any offense is created or any offense has been committed then you have to see whether the evidence is sufficient not every every piece of evidence that is collected by the police is not evidence attorney general has to consider whatever the material collected by the police is capable in, in admitting as a relevant evidence you have to see whether the evidence ordinance admissibility rules have been complied so once the evidence is admissible the attorney general has to take a decision whether the evidence is sufficient he has to take a call and decide whether there is a possibility of securing a conviction at the trial court if he feels there's a possibility of securing a conviction then he has to take a decision to send out a case if it is uh, those are mine offenses those cases will be prosecuted in the magistrate court normally attorney general will ask the police to conduct the prosecution of course if it is a complicated matter the police can request or attorney general on his own ask the police send an officer of the attorney general's department to conduct the prosecution on the other hand if the offense is a very serious one the accused will be prosecuted in a high court by sending out an indictment and all these indictments are prepared by the officers of the attorney general's department they are they may be state counsel they may be senior state counsel and once the indictment is sent out to high court what happens in each and every high court there is a state counsel it is his duty to lead the evidence of the prosecution witnesses then once the defense is called by the judge if the accused decides to give evidence the state counsel has to cross examine these are part of the prosecution so in a way attorney general advised this on the other hand attorney general sent out the case to the high court thirdly he will send his officers and conduct the prosecution in high court so these are the functions you can colloquially say the role of a prosecutor in a general sense is it so uh, jari okay yeah that would be so fine sir and for the benefit of the people who are expecting us something in simple language so uh, sir uh, in the ag's department a lawyer uh, is for the victim in sir pidavata pak parshave venuwen the me neethipati departmentu kriyatmak wenne janadipati neethipati api madak e gena podu kuma sumak kala pahaduluwa balanna loke adikarna krama veda kihipayak thiyena අපේ රටේ තියෙන අධිකරණ ක්‍රමය අපි උරුම කර ගත්තේ බ්‍රිතාන්‍ය ජාතිකයන්ගෙන්. බ්‍රිතාන්‍ය ජාතිකයන්ට මේ ක්‍රමය ආවේ ඉස්සර තිබුණු ඉතාලියේ සහ ග්‍රීසියේ තිබුණු ක්‍රමය. ඒ ක්‍රසේ ඒ ක්‍රමය තමයි අපි කියන්නේ ඇඩ්වසරියල් සිස්ටම්. මොකද්ද ඇඩ්වසරියල් සිස්ටම් කියලා කියන්නේ එදිරි වාදිකම් සහිත ක්‍රමවේදය. ඒ ක්‍රමවේදයේදී අපි හිතනවා සෑම පුද්ගලයෙක්ම නිර්දෝෂී කියලා. निर्देश निर्दोषित पूर्व निगमने सलपुलिवलिन सैम पुद्गले में वसा गंती है ये तो नमक दबे ने ये सलपुली इवात कीरी में बाहरे खाद देती है ने फैमिली नहीं लगा फैमिली नहीं लगी याने खाऊं दे फैमिली नहीं लगी याने अपराध विंदिता नेवे अपराध विंदिता निशा ये विंदिते तनत्याता हानिया समस्त समाज विनिवेन्तमेंदानुकूल विशेष नीति क्रम वेदे 
अपराधविंदित रंगपांड भूमि कामक नैतिक थारा ऐनी सामाता माई नीति पद सुमा खावड़ा कुआत अपराध विंदित आगे नीति क्या वन्ने नैत्ते में सांकल पे खोच्चर दारद दानुले से खोच्चर तीरनात्मक ने से लांका भी क्रियात्मक विनोद किए ने वां नंग अपेराटे अपे अपराध विंदित या के क्या अपे खता करंदा तब्दे तहानंता अपे ख मतवादे अपने विरुद्ध दोष आरोपने आप लंका भी नागान लिया किए ना आप इस साक्षी कारण में पुनो कर ला सूदा नंग कर ला साक्षी द कालिंग के नाम आए किए इन जापे हमें वे ले मा अपराध विंदित यागिंग ऐत लाई ना हर इमा कहना गाती किया नमूत वेना राटा वालों ले हेमने वे अपराध विंदित यंगे आयतिवासिक चारिक भूमिका साक्षी <laughs> मुखदुने मूलिक भूमिका नीति आधार कमीशन में हिट अपू सभापति विजयराज महात्म्या ये वक्त आप हिट पसोल से जनरल नीति पति सीआर दिसिला महात्म्या सां तवत तापी की पद्धति के कतुएला वर्तमाने से साधिकन विनिशुरु यासंत पौधवर महात्म्या 
මමත් එකතු වෙලා බොහොම දුක් මහන්සි වෙලා මේ පන්ත නිර්මාණය කරන්න දායක වුණා ඒ පන්තේ මූලික දේවල් තමයි හඳුනගෙන තියෙනවා අපරාධ වින්දිතයන්ගේ අයිතිවාසිකම් මොනවද කියලා ඒ අයිතිවාසිකම් අතර ප්‍රධාන අයිතිවාසිකම් තමයි බලධාරීන්ට නියම කරන යම් යම් තීන්දු ගන්න පෙර තීන්දු මොකද වෙන්නේ කියන කාරණය අපරාධ වින්දිත තැනැත්තාට දන්වන්න එහෙම දන්වන එකක් ලොකුම දෙයක් මොකද අපරාධ වින්දිත තැනැත්ත යුක්තිය පසුදීමේ ක්‍රමයේ ඉස්සරහට ආම අධිකරණ විදියට ඉදිරියට ආම ඔවුන් නැවතත් අපරාධ වින්දිත භාවයට පත් වෙනවා ඔවුන් ද්විතික වින්දිත භාවයට පත් වෙනවා ඔවුන් ගණන් ගන්නේ නැති තරමට පත් වෙනවා ඒ නිසා ඔවුන්ගේ මනසට ඇති වෙන්නේ අපරාධය වුණ සිදුවීම නිසා වෙන කැලබීමක් තියෙනවා මේ අධිකරණ පද්ධතිය තුලදී ඔවුන් නොගන්නා ගණන් ගන්නේ නැතිකම නිසා ඇති වෙන වින්දිත භාවයක් තියෙනවා ඒවට උත්තර දීම සඳහා තමයි අපරාධ වින්දිතයන් අපරාධ වින්දිතයන් ආරක්ෂා කිරීමේ පනත මේ ශිෂ්‍ය ශිෂ්‍යාංගේ අද දැන ගැනීම සඳහා මම කියන්න පන්ත යංකය 2015 අංක 4 දරන පන්ත ඒ පන්තෙන් ප්‍රධාන දේවල් තමයි ඕන් වෙන වෙන යම් අයිතිවාසික මොනවද කියලා හඳුනගෙන තියෙනවා ඒ වගේම අපරාධ වින්දිතයේ සම්බන්ධයෙන් කවුරු හරි වරදක් මොනවද වරදවල් කියන්නේ අපරාධ වින්දිත භාවයට පත් වීම නිසා ඔහු පොලිසියට ගිහිල්ලා පැමිණිලක් කරනවා උසාවිය සාක්කි දෙනවා අන්න ඒ නිසාම කවුරු හරි ඇයට හෝ ඔහුට හිරිහර කරනවා නම් එහෙ හිරිහර කිරීමම දණ්ඩ එම පනත යට්ටේ වරදවල් බට පත් කරලා තියෙනවා එහෙම කවුරු හරි වරදක් කරොත් එහෙම මොකද වෙන්නේ ඒක දඬුවම් ලබන්න පුළුවන් වරදක් ඇප හම්බෙන්නේ නැහැ ඇප ගන්වනම් ගන්වන කොහෙන්ද අභියාචන අධිකරණය ඒ වගේම ඒ පන්තේ විශේෂයෙන්ම කියනවා දඬුවම් නියම කරන්න කලින් අපරාධ වින්දිත තැනැත්තියට අයිතිවාසිකමක් තියෙනවා විදසතුමා ඉදිරියේ පෙනී සිටලා කියන්නේ උනත් කියන්නේ මට මේ අපරාධය වෙච්ච නිසා වර්තමානයේ සිදුවල තියෙන මානසික ශාරීරික හානිය මෙච්චරයි මේ පමණයි කියන ඒ දැක්ම ඒ අදහස අධිකරණ ඉදිරියේ කියන්නේ මන් දන්නේ ප්‍රායෝගිකව මෙව කොච්චර දුර ක්‍රියාත්මක වෙන්න. පනත් හැදුවට වැඩක් නැහැ. ඔබ වගේ තරුණ නීතිඥ මහත්තුරු මහත්මියන් මේවා කියවලා බලලා අධිකරණයේ ගිහි ඉදිරියේ ගිහිලා උර ගාලා බැලුවේ නැත්නම් ඒ පනත් නිකන් හමස් පෙට්ටියේ දැම්මා වගේ වෙනවා. ඒ නිසා මින් පස්සේ ඔබ අපරාධ වින්දිතයක් වෙනුවෙන් පෙනී ඉන්නවා නම් ඔබට අයිතියක් තියෙනවා. දඬුවම් නියම කරන්න කලින් අධිකරණයේ ඉදිරියේ ගිහිලා කරුණු සැලකිරීමක් කරන්න. समावे ඒ අදාළ බලධාරීන් අපරාධ වින්දිතයන්ගෙන් ඒ සඳහා අදහස් වීම සම්පූර්ණයි මේ රටේ මිනිස්සු කීයෙන් කියන කී දෙනා දෝක දන්නේ මේ රටේ නීතිඥ ප්‍රජාවගෙන් කීයෙන් කී දෙනා දෝ දන්නේ මේ රටේ බොහෝ තැන්වල නීති තියෙනවා ඒ නීති තිබුණට ඒවත් එක ස්පර්ශ කරලා මහ පොළවේ පය ගහලා ඊටමත් මල්ප නීතිවතවරු සංඛ්‍යාව සමා සිටින්නේ ඒ නිසා අපි අපේ නීති ක්‍රමයට දෝෂාරෝපණය කළ යුතු නැහැ අපි දෝෂාරෝපණය කළ ගත්ත යුත්තේ අපි අපටමයි මම හිතන්නේ මේ වෙලාවේ අපරාධ වින්දිතයන් සහ සාක්ෂිකරුවන් සම්බන්ධයෙන් තාමත් මල්පෙන් තමයි මම ওই දේ කියන්නේ ඒ මිස්ටර් උදේ ජනාධිපති නිදේශිතුමනි මම හිතන්නේ ඔබතුමාට ඉඳි ඊයේ ස්ටේන් මේ වගේ පනත් සම්පාදනය කිරීම කරලා මේ රටට මේ නීති ශේෂ්ත්‍රයට සිදු කරන්න යන යහපත තරුණ නීතිඥවරු නීතිඥවරයන් විතර ඒ වගේම නීති ශේෂ්ත්‍රයට පිවිසෙන්න නින ආධුනිකයන් ඒ වගේම නීති අධ්‍යාපනයේ ආධාර නීති ශිෂ්‍යයන් විදිහට අපි සියලු දෙනාම අදිටන් කරගන්න ඕනේ මේ පනත් ඒ කියන්නේ ලංකාවේ නීති තියෙනවා ඒ නීති ක්‍රියාත්මක කරන්න මම හිතන්නේ සමාජයේ ලොකු කතිකාවතාකක් ලබන ඇයි මේ වගේ දේවල් ක්‍රියාත්මක වෙන්නේ නැත්තේ මම හිතන්නේ සමාජයේ මිනිසුන්ට තියෙන ගැටලු බොහොමයකට පිළිතුරු අලුතෙන් සම්පාදනය කරන්නට අවශ්‍ය නැහැ මෙතුමන් වැනි සරජ්ජාමාන්‍ය ජනාධිපති නීතිඥුන් ශේෂ්ඨයේ ශේෂ්ඨයි ඒ 
අඩිතාලම සකසාදී බන ඉතින් පරුණින් විදිහට ශේෂ්ඨයට පිවිසෙනු පිවිසෙන්නට සිටින අපි වැනි සියලු දෙනාම අදිටන් කරගන්නට ඕන ඒ දේවල් නිසි අයුරින් ක්‍රියාත්මක කරන්න බෙහෙවින් ස්තුතියි ජනාධිපති නීති නිතුමනි ඒ අදහස් වලට ඒ උපදෙස් වලට සර් ලයික් වෙල් මූව් ටු ද ඩිස්කෂන් වන්ස් අගේන් වි ද නෝමල් ඕඩිනරි ෆ්ලෝ can the attorney general interfere in magistrate courts prosecution and high court prosecutions yes that's a very important question you right first i will give a very simple answer once the proceedings are instituted attorney general has no power to interfere with the prosecutions in the magistrate court of course prior to the institutions of the proceedings in the magistrate court police can require the assistance of the attorney general seeking his advice not only police if there is any legal issue even the magistrates can ask the attorney general his assistance with regard to the filing of the case for example if the magistrate feel that there is a particular robbery case is a robbery of a bank we know under the penal code if there is a robbery uh, under the penal code sentence may that may extend to i think 10 years can be given but if we prosecute the case in the magistrate court the magistrate can give only 2 years rigorous imprisonment so having regard to the total gravity of the offense prior to the institution of the proceedings a magistrate may require the attorney general to consider whether he wishes to have an indictment in the high court or not this is just an example likewise prior to the case attorney the magistrate or police can seek advice but once the magistrate decides to go ahead with the case attorney general will hardly give any kind of advice to the magistrate why attorney general does not want to interfere with the judicial proceedings on the other hand you know when the, when the case is prosecuted in the magistrate court who prosecutes as a prosecutor attorney general officers can go and prosecute the case if it is a government department that was involved in the investigation they can send their one of their officers so to conduct the prosecution similarly if the attorney general is not there if the government uh, officer also not there then the magistrate can ask any other lawyer to conduct the prosecution no lawyer would come into the picture unless the victim wants some lawyer to come and prosecute unfortunately then the victim has to retain a lawyer so then the magistrate can allow uh, the victim's lawyer to come and do the prosecution you must look at the section 191 of the criminal procedure code so likewise those are the opportunities attorney general the public servants or the victims lawyers to prosecute in the magistrate court so those are with regard to summary offenses what do you mean by summary offenses summary offenses mean like uh, theft robbery cheating that means at the end of the case the magistrate can convict the accused or if there is no evidence magistrate can acquit the accused with karu varda karu karanna puluwan sakki sadharana sakeyen nobbata oppukare nattam mokada karanna puluwan with karu nindos karanna puluwan e avilla mona summary offenses but there are other types of offenses those are called non summary lagu non lagu non kiyana mokadda lagu wen iwara karanna ba maisa tusave avasana pratipale dakinna ba mini merum nadu stri dushana wage nadu maisa tusave ahanawa e wada kiyana mokadda moolika pariksha lagu non nadu maisa tusave nadu wahala avasane edi garu mahasatma mokadda thirne karanna mahadikarne නඩුවක් අධිචෝදනා පත්‍රයක් යවන්නට තරම් සාක්ෂි ප්‍රමාණ එහෙම ප්‍රමාණවත් කිව්වට පස්සේ මහේස්ත්‍රතුමා මොකද කරන්නේ ඒ නඩුව මහාධිකරණට තියෙනවා he can only commit the case to the high court සාක්ෂි නැත්නම් මොකද කරන්නේ එතෙන්දී සාක්ෂි නැත්නම් නිදොස් කරන්න බෑ සාක්ෂි නැත්නම් මොනද කරන්නේ නිදහස් කරන එක විතරයි කරන්නේ එහෙම කරත් සාක්ෂි තිබුණත් මහාධිකරණ දැම්මත් ස්වයං ස්වයං ක්‍රියව අධිචෝදන පත්‍රයක් ඇවෙන්නේ නැහැ. ඒ මූලික පරීක්ෂණ අවසානයේදී මහේස්ත්‍රතුමා ඒ නඩු වාර්තාව නීතිපතිතුමාට වන්නේ. ඊට පස්සේ නීතිපතිතුමා තමයි තීන්දුව ගන්නේ ඒ මූලික පරීක්ෂණ සම්බන්ධයෙන් මහාධිකරණේ නඩුවක් දාන්න. 
ඒ මූලික පරීක්ෂණ සම්බන්ධයෙන් නම මහාධිකරණ නඩුවක් දාන්න පුළුවන් ඒ වගේම සමහර වැරදි තියෙනවා ලඝු වැරදි සම්බන්ධයෙන් ඒක බරපතලා නම් ඒව සම්බන්ධෙනුත් මහාධිකරණ නඩු දාන්න පුළුවන් මහාධිකරණ නඩුවක් දැම්මට පස්සේ කවුද පැමිණිලා මෙහෙවන්නේ පැමිණිලා මෙහෙවන්නේ කවුද නීතිපතිතුමා වෙනුවෙන් රජයේ අධිපති මහත්මිය ඔහු නිල වශයෙන් අපරාධ නඩු විධාන සංග්‍රහය ප්‍රකාශ බලය ප්‍රකාශව යම් යම් ආකාරය ඉල්ලීම ඔහුට කරන්න පුළුවන් නමුත් නඩුවක් කොහොමද විසඳන්න ඕනේ මොකද්ද නඩුවේ තීන්දුව මොකද්ද ඒ කිසිම ආදී කාරණයක් ගැන නීතිපතිතුමාට මැදිහත් වෙන්න බලයක් නැහැ එතකොට නීතිපතිතුමා මැදිහත් වෙනවා නම් මැදිහත් වෙන්නේ හැමිල්ල මෙහෙවන නීතිඥවරගේ භූමිකාව රඟපාන්න විනා නීතිපතිවරයාගේ බලය වදාන නඩුවට බලපෑම් කරන්න නොවේ महाधिकास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्करास्
who was my accused? I appeared for the prosecution. It's a bribery case. Mm -hmm. The accused was the accountant of the police department. Then who appeared for the, 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 the defense? The leading counsel, Mr. Ranjit Abe Surya, leading president's counsel. I was just a raw junior. That case went for nearly two months. At the end of the day, the accused was acquitted. But from the very first day, I feel with all humility, I say I got the recognition. Mr. Ranjit Abe Surya, he recognized me as a young counsel that I will I'll have a great future. So he got up from the bar table and he, he openly commented and appreciated my role. So that is how I started. Thereafter, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there were several uh, cases, landmark cases I have appeared. For example, uh, there was a case totally based on circumstantial evidence. A uh, Ragarite attached to Havelock Sports Club. His name is Tori Martin. He was killed in front of, uh, uh, in front of uh, Havelock Sports Club. There is, his residence was there. He was killed in the night and by two uh, others. One is another Ragarite. And the entire case was based on circumstances, evidence, especially the fingerprint evidence, the other scientific evidence. So there was a two great lawyers for the defense. So that is one case I did the prosecution. Then, uh, you know, this famous uh, Kobe and uh, mm -hmm. Again, I did the prosecution. I went to Kurnagal High Court and did the prosecution. Then uh, you would recall there was a disappearance of uh, 32 students uh, in Ambili I was, uh, I was uh, one of the members of the prosecution team. Uh, I led the most uh, vital uh, evidence of witnesses. Then, you know, the member of parliament, Nalan Dellavala, he was assassinated. I appeared in the non-summer inquiry. Uh, in addition, you know, this Hokandara uh, massacre, there I was in the prosecution team. Uh, there I was able uh, to negotiate or have a discussion with the DNA experts for the first time in our history. And Mr. Paul Fernando he led the evidence of the DNA expert in court, but I was able to produce, arrange that evidence in consultation with the, uh, Dr. Um, Mrs. Maya Gunasekar, that is Hokandara. Then came, then you would know there was a famous uh, minister in, a, in 1992. Uh, his wife, uh, along with the minister's bodyguard were prosecuted in a jury trial for killing the minister's fiance uh, and the fiance's servant lady. That jury trial was held in Colombo High Court. So I had the rare opportunity of uh, appearing in that jury trial, conducting the prosecution. Then you know the famous uh, case of High Court Judge, uh, Honorable Sarat Tambe PTS assassination. That is the case where we, first time in our history, we used the telephone evidence to trace the main perpetrator, the first accused in the case. And uh, I was uh, given charge leading all the uh, scientific evidence. My background is science, you know, my, I did my basic degree in science, maths, uh, biology and physics. So they are the fingerprint evidence, the DNA evidence that is related to the vomit the, the one of the accused, he vomited near the crime scene. We collected the vomit and we were able to establish that vomit belonged to that particular accused. So then there were firearm, the empty cartridges were found at the uh, crime scene where Mr. Ambepiti was assassinated. And uh, several days later, when the accused were arrested with the guns, those were matched by the government analysts. I had the opportunity of leading that evidence. That was in 2005. Then uh, several years later, uh, I lead the prosecution where the, around eight civilians in middle civil area, uh, they were done to death by members of the armed forces. And that case was heard before a trial at bar. And finally, the main accused was convicted uh, by the trial at bar. It was appeal, and the appeal court also affirmed the conviction. So likewise, uh, there are so many cases, I think, uh, because in this profession, as a youngster, you have to think is, 
your future is decided in early part of your career. Best place when you do your apprentice period. In the apprentice period, whatever that come in your way, you must grab and learn. I always use only two words. That is, you must have a depth and you must have a passion. Even the slightest thing that come in your way, you must do a deep study. You must go and look for the roots. Not only that, you must have the passion for that. Then when you join as a state council, if you are passionate, if you are intelligent, if you are hardworking, what will happen if you have an analytical ability, you will be identified by your, your colleagues. You will be identified by your peers, your seniors. When one case is over, you'll be given another case. When that case is over, you will be given another case. I think that exactly happened to me. That is why uh, I think I was given so many cases, not that I had anyone connected, even my family uh, connected to the legal profession. Uh, I think oh, with all humility, uh, I'm always a passionate person. If something is given to me, I will go and do a deep study use my analytical skill, if any, to the maximum. So those are the <clears throat> synopsis of cases I think I have done in this country. You can speak the whole day about the cases that you have done here in yes. Sri Lanka. If we had come to my <laughs> lectures, I, I was a lecturer at the law college for nearly two years, 12 years, six years, uh -huh. I was a lecturer in evidence, balance six, uh, criminal procedure. Had you come to the law college lectures, I would have given the entire background of those cases. <laughs> During that time, I can very well remember. I did mm -hmm. the 8 to 10 lecture in the morning. Then 10 o'clock, I used to come and appear in Kalam High Court. I can remember this famous jury trial. I, I uh -huh. teach the students uh, in the class uh, the background of the case. But I don't discuss the strategy, strategy in that class. <laughs> so they, they come and watch the case uh, and they will really understand uh, what exactly happened. So that is the purpose. Law college is located near the half road. But how many students will come to the law college? You, faculty students will have some excuse. They are very good in learning theory because they, they can always say we are far away from the courthouse. But law students, they must come <laughs> to the courthouse and see what is happening there. Okay. Yeah, right. certainly. Right. So, uh, being apart from the formal schedule, that I need to pose this question. So, you grabbed and learned. And the very first case with regard to bribery. And as the Director General of Commission to investigate allegations of bribery and corruption, and was able to formulate and launch Sri Lanka's first national action plan for combating the manners of bribery and corruption. So with that thing, you grabbed and learned and you did something for this community, the legal entire legal fraternity, I hope. So could you tell us more about your role as the Director General of Commission to investigate allegations and bribery and corruption? It is a, it is a, Charitra, it's a coincidence. I never thought in my wildest dream when I did my first bribery case, when I was a still young state council, still I am young, right? My heart is young. I never <laughs> we thought... We can see you by the appearance. Yes. I never thought uh, one day I would be the director general of the bribery commission, right? See book. But the, the destiny is such. In the year 2015, uh, you know, I launched a book, Yali Mavan Aparadya, Aparadya. Right? Yeah. Uh, uh, that is the recreation of a crime. So that is the name, title of the book. Uh, mm -hmm. it, in the launch, there are more than 1,500 guests for the launch. You know, all the entire legal fraternity came for that. And I presented mm -hmm. that uh, in a very artistic way by being three or four singers. Then after mm -hmm. 2015, I invited the former president, he was the chief guest. Then in the year 2016, I was there in an assignment uh, in Austria, Vienna. I, on behalf of the attendance department in Austria, Vienna, I was attending, attending a conference. Suddenly a call came from uh, uh, the former president. I did not know him personally. I did not know him personally. He asked me whether I can take up the post of uh, uh, Director General of the Library Commission. I came to Colombo and I said, okay, I will accept the challenge. So then from 2016 November uh, till this year, January, roughly three years, I was the director general of the Bribery Commission. Now the question arises for the audience, what is the role of the Bribery Commission? Certainly. We have, we know 
that most there are several offenses on the penal code there are few bribery offenses also but in 1954 there's a special statute called bribery act and that gives the variety of offenses coming under the pur purview of bribery bribery offense is mainly culpable only the public servants then in the good olden days there was a bribery commissioners department they used to do only the investigations after the investigations are over what happened they used to send the file to the attorney general's department attorney general would take decision whether to prosecute if he takes the decision what will happen his officers would go to high court and do the prosecution that is what i did in my first case then what happened in 1994 an independent commission was established there are three, there are three commissioners two have to be judges from the supreme court and the court of appeal the third person must be a person who has a wealth of experience under them there is a chief executive officer he is the director general director general does not take any decisions whether to prosecute or not to prosecute decision is taken by the commissioners director general use he has to use his expertise has to use his expertise whether to conduct the prosecution or not so then he has to use his expertise and guide guide the the legal officers in the bribery commission so now main, mainly bribery commission has different functions they have to take a decision whether to start the investigation or not then they have to do the investigation there are several 200 police officers then they have commissioners will have to take a decision whether to indict or not once they do the, take the decision to indict or not what will happen the in the bribery commission there are more than 25 legal officers they have to go and do the prosecution so then if they come across any difficult matter of course they can seek the assistance of the attorney general's prosecutors it is important case they happen then in the bribery commission their role is not only the investigation and prosecution they have to see how our government service is free of corruption you have to have a preventive mechanism so therefore uh, we became an international party to an international document called called united nation convention against corruption we say uncap and there are certain obligations under this particular convention what are those obligations what are those obligations means we have to have a prevention mechanism we have to have a independent commissioners we have to have top quality investigators likewise there are so many things one such requirement is country wide there has to be a national action plan every government department every private sector you have to have a plan how to eradicate bribery and corruption we have had several workshops across the country and got ideas and 18th of march 2019 we launched the national action plan and it is available if you go to the website ciaboc that is the bribery commission website ciaboc.com that is the best website in sri lanka it we were awarded with the best website in the government sector you can see the national action plan is there in addition to that we launched four handbooks that is called gift rules conflict of interest rules then the integrity rules and those rules are there if you want to know what is conflict of interest if you know how whether public servant can servant can accept a gift or not you must see the gift rules so likewise every government department must have an officer called integrity officer his function is to see how best bribery and corruption is removed how the opportunities are minimized in the government sector so you if you go to those uh, that those websites uh, the cbok website you will see not only that in the cbok website you will see several interviews i have given as a director general of bribery commission in addition to that we have prepared the new law anti corruption law it is now with the legal draft now Uh, i hope one day it will see the light of the day so there are so many other things we have done so this is in a nutshell as the director general of bribery commission all i was able to do because of my experience in the attorney general's department if not for the attorney general's department experience i wouldn't have done all those things okay
Right. That means okay. simply you had the passion on that. You study deeply and came out with those results. Finally, like uh, it was the incidental, like uh, with the very first case, you were the director general of the Rivalry Commission, and that was marvelous. And thank you very much, sir, for the wonderful uh, points given to our community, legal fraternity. Sir, as a officer at the Attorney General's Department, former, you was a state council initially. And uh, can you explain, uh, can you briefly elaborate for our uh, law students that what are the trades and officer of the Attorney General's Department must process? Nitipati Department to an Eladahariak to Tiendona Gati Lakshan, Mono. Bohoya, Hitanawa, Sahatika Kandara Kare Tiagena. Nitipati department to at Aoma, Samuka Parichin and Terage. Eka Hudu Hitolwak Pitra Sahataka Tibu Pamaning, Daksa Niti Tiwarek Ven Nat Lanka Hitia Daksa Niti Tiorunda Mahalukuda Pradarsnekar and Muluku Sahataka Tibbe Nat Namut Niti Tiwaret Tiendo on a Pradhana Lakshanetamai Niraul Manasakti. A Nerol Mansak Natua, Daksa Niti Timorek when the bear. Pito Dahaka with a Nadugonwa Diha Balala. Eka Vinadi the High King Saralava Sarlaba Savi Garu Visutumata Pahadileva Kian Puluan Harieta Sudo Sudo Jalapokunaka Batlatina Ridi Kasia Pena Se Emnatang Akasi Gilena Kusekuta. Atam Gana Kathin Tina Bimaka, Sarpe, Dangal Dangal Nakota, as they get a pain or say, Vinne with the Yame Dakmati. Eka Palavini Karnatamai, Samsun Manasakti. Vinne with the Yame Dakmati. Vislation Kirime Hakiavati. Daksha Katikati. Tamanta Diak Idripat Kerna Kalavati. Taman Daksha Katike Quenona. Vidyat Maga Dermati and Nona, Kala Danagan Nona, Mahapolve, Pai Gahala in Nona, then Tin Godama Prasne Vendi, Tarno Nitija Parampara, Mahapolve, Pai Gahala Ne, Own Aperate Itihase than Ne, Aperate Bugole than Ne, Minisunge Situm Petum Hitan Vidya than Ne, E Mukud than Network, Own Balapurtuna, Lanka in a Daxatamaniti Nivaravin. Somehow to wear Sankalpia, Dalim in the Pulwang, say Stadik and Abia Chanadik and Vitrakin one. Namut Oba Nadu Bahaka Nadikan at Yanwanang, Oba Saki Karan, Vitikarun, Nek Ganudunukaran, the Anadikar Nedi, Yudis Baha Kidri Katabhakar and Yanwanang, Oba me Mahapolve, Pai the Hali in the Danagan. Kohoma the Mera take Kohoma the Satasipa Kaud, Kalturu Kaud, Kohoma the Miva de Hadin, Kohoma the Mal Kapani. A salmon buddhia owned the Tibi Utuma. A heman at work, may Sahatika pen like a navilla, Usavi, the Matame Sahatike Tienwa, Mata Palunipanti, Samatka Matienwa, Kiva Pamaning, Kavada Quatten, Vince Carvery, Judas Sabahaku Begipatre in Nesa Pradhana de Tamai, may Sialam of Britia, may Sialam of the Buddha Dakne, but Hangi Matien on a Ratagan, Tamanga Aitin, Saha. Tama Sabah Lesagma Supilipan put the lake when you must be a person with high integrity. Kalanka when Sad dedication. Mama Taumat Mama Taumat Pandar Hatharat Nin. Other that was at Managite Hatharat. Mama the Hatan in the Tel. A Hatharat Nagila Mankar and Mona the Mukakari Potak, Himatamakari Gonua Kiwanek. Eva Gimatamai Nirantaren, Daddy Kapevima, Eda in the Makiri Mawashai, Nitipa de Pan. Tamata Vinetti Ensa Tamange Name, Tamange Kirtia, Tamange Sumul Vaisem, Tamang Atpat Kargan. It was an impasse Tamangia Idre Balan. Tamang and a very rupia, and it had Mauno Tema, Tamange, Gurti, the Aram Bedima, Hari Amaru, E Chitre, and it tagged Manasing Ainkaran. Ensa Tamang Avanquen Don, Tamang Rajakarik and Tamangi Jays Theatre. Pulwantaram Sahayogi then known, you have to be loyal and honest and efficient, and you have to be passionate, analytical ability, and you must know the language, single English both. You must learn. And then you must learn the advocacy, the presentation skills. 
this is the combination of all these traits an officer of the attendance department must necessarily have. Right. Uh, and in your introductions, uh, explanations, uh, you spoke about advocacy skills that the council should possess. Can we speak a little bit more on that, sir? Yes. Uh, I will give a little example. Mm -hmm. In that famous uh, or infamous uh, Mirusuil case, Mirusuil case mm -hmm. right? Uh, I had a uh, witness. He is almost an eyewitness. A Mirusuil Gartan Nadwe, Tamil that hitia Saksikarek, ya boho durta asadu to Saksikarek ke sami pe hasrune. Oge Saksi tamai, Mava ektara thanakadi. Yam kisi hamudav kaya arangya vesikili valak gavata Mangete ka pemini ani kandama pain hitiye ne Mata hituna maite kitiye an kandami ani tatadena ye beli kapala e valata dal etikila Manget bela kapanda hadana kota mangetrim panna Panala mamang diva diva Kale mandin duala Mama hangula Mangekla beila then make a thunder a kid. We should to mark Tindu a gun day on me Saki Karekian net to the net to the kid. Nay, make a car a harima bend a berry Abahavi Katava Mukad me Yamki Yamti Hamuda and Ildahari in Gava who the curtain up here till to a good tibia deckle till. Emma deckable Tanakin Tamai me Kalem at the hoop and Lagiaki. Saman put the leg game, Manasa make them with Pilly under back. Moki were among Hemadapuma Mogadune, Mage, Matamage Amma Matakuna, Mage, Tata Mataku, Deyu Mataku, Mang Tawajiva to the dark net, Mang Hematama Hitala, Mam Panlagia Panlan with Mage Saramat Galu. Okay, Saksi Hematama Kibu. Then they send me out. A decent yaw with Avi. Then make a homakila with a name, Magadeshin. Eka, you ask the question of advocacy. Eka Rahata than in the Kiando. Mata Matakuna Kalagola Nati, Kalagola Kata, Kalagola Jataki, a Kalagola Jataki, Mangitan name, Ethanina, Zignic Halavatino, a Kalagola Hatta Rudak Balamehever Kerla, Itamatna Rumat. Kantavak, Dinagata, Tamange, a say Hamputa Vedakarla, a Dictala, take a Vedakarla, Antimedi Benda, Kalogo Bandala, Dictala, Badala, then Demopian Balandiano, Ganga Tianagota, Goku Gangati, Kal Gold Pin under the Nitne, Dictala than Nitne, make a Dakabu, Eteringia Totie, Dikpitia Kiwa. Mama, well, I got a caranaki. It was a mulima, dictala verangia, dictala verangilla, ganging a hapatra, and got a dictala hita venasuela, dictala then a tamanga got a tarangia, dictia take a alula, then dictia panle and a dictala take. Ether and demi, Carl go at Nikangara, eh? We hear you, Pahasa Gara Panlagi, Carl go about hit you. Then matter, I may give thing, Veda. Oh, Gia Kelly Mugangata. We are not done with me. Gangar Gila Hopena, out there, Pen Munakila. Miemwa, Rekemwa, Mange Givite Mataiva Daphne. Him Gia Tamahu Gangar Pen. Mange Vachanati againava, Mange Deshin at Tulata. Eda me as a to Sakaria. E. Etanim Panlagi, Manga Giva Tulavadakne, Miemwa, Rekemwa. Him a Gira Tamam Panlagi. Him again a panel gilatamagi desh in among Rasavak. So I can advocacy kill Kiani Tamang Dana de Kagar Hitata Kava di Nandemin Sarlava Sa Adiring Adiro Kianik. Ape Tarum Paramparatina Prabala Biogetamai. They are Pilivaleta Anupilivilin Kianati and Apahasu. Onamata Mulimadakin none Dakala Kurule Piasa Salma say me Sampuna Chitre. We not keep a king salam mavando. Vinsutumagi manse. A vinati keep a game mavala, devani pivere tamai, adiring adiretian none, make a mokaduniki. 
advocacy is an art. Bohol at advocacy in the monogin, watch and hold. Cutting Palakan watch. Matakata Baganda. Advocacy can cutting watch in a Palakan watch and away. A big GVT Ude house Dakinwa, Minus Vassal in the way Kataka and Bohol at Munad. As well in Kataka, Moon in Kataka, India will in Kataka. Anna Ekinu Tamangi Dakshatawa Penan Dona di Kadi. Tamang Vachana than Katravadakne, a Vachana Idripatran don Vidyati. Vachana Vali Mitra Katago take a sieta Hatai Rande. Eva game a Vachana Honda Ucha Necro Tavasiratis Atakande. Namut take a Hava Dinandimin, production of the go pen with Sierta Panas Bakrande. In side advocacy Kilikian is a combination of your oral skills, your body language. Your, your presentation skills, your coma saha, they are unbelievable at logistically, logically, Kianika Tamai advocacy Kirikia. The Balan Loke, Balan Daksan Alu, a Daksan Alu, Balan Kocher Apurwat, Rangapanwad, Yam Yam Nati Vala Chitrapatu, a Rangapan is a ballast, Unnevagmatamai, may family may have an eighty tevaria. He must create. The crime in the mind of the trial judge, in the mind of the jury. And so, therefore, therefore, they will visualize as to how the crime has happened. And the prosecutor can't visualize this by bringing various evidence. You must confine your arguments to the evidence that was led in the court. And that is called advocacy. And you always you have to maintain the variation the variation in your speech and the tone and the language. So therefore, you have to master several things to become a great advocate. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So certainly, uh, apart from that advocacy skill, shall we, uh, we talk about the leadership skill and as an uh, advice to the youngsters, could you elaborate your journey with regard to the leadership skills so we can get a piece of advice from you? Actually, the anyone can become a leader. Even the person who sweeps my room, she can become a leader. Why? You must do whatever the task that is assigned to you to the best of your ability. You must, minim you must minimize whatever the, even the little mistake, whatever the little mistake you commit, you must avoid. You shouldn't do the same mistake over and over again. What is the leader? Leader is not a person who always use his force, others to work. Leader must be exemplary. The leader must plan the next action, the next action. He must foresee the future. Future challenges he must en encounter in his assignment. So therefore you must preempt those obstacles. You must well in advance get ready. For example, if you are given a particular assignment, you must see your strength, your weaknesses. You must understand what are the areas of your strength, and you must understand the areas of your challenges or weaknesses. You must try to score more points from your strength, and you must guard against your challenges. Why? Your opponent, your opponent will challenge the moment they see a weakness in you somewhere. So therefore, a leader must always be exemplary, be honest, and you must have a vision. To achieve that vision, you must have a mission, and you must understand the skills of different people under you. Because every person has a talent. So as a leader, you should not discriminate against. Why? You, with even, even these fingers are not similar. You must identify who your colleagues are. Then whenever necessary, you must use your carrot and the stick. You must get out of best out of them. Leaders are the people who put your juniors all left front. Let them get the credit when everything is successful. When the bricks bats are thrown at you, then the leader must come forward. See the person I like, Mahatma Gandhi. If you look at his body with all due respect, he is not a film star. He is not a film star, but certainly he is one of the great leaders the world has ever produced. Why? You must have confidence. You must have the, the, the determination. Then the others must respect you. So you must have a visionary thinking. So all those are inculcated. 
In fact, I was privy, I was lucky when the Fulbright Commission uh, gave me a Fulbright scholarship that is called Hubert Humphrey Fellowship. I was there in the uh, US for one year. I have learned different types of leadership. In fact, I think when I became the Director General of the Bribery Commission, uh, I was able to use all what I've learned uh, and to change the entire complexion of the Bribery Commission within the three years when I was there. So therefore, I must thank those who helped me and leaders must always thank the people who help you. So that is why leadership, you can't say inborn, but you must cultivate from your younger days. Right, certainly. Uh, right, sir. Uh, then I would like to pose this question. Apart from criminal uh, matters, uh, what is the role of AG in civil matters? Okay, now I will tell you the 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 role the at the position of the attorney general. The name of the attorney general came into existence in the year 1864. The office of the attorney general was created in the year 1864. But prior to that, in the year 1802, there was a post called uh, Advocate Fiscal. Then it was changed to uh, King's Advocate in the year 1883. So therefore, for the last 218 years, the Office of Attorney General in different names were there. The name of the Attorney General has been there for the last 136 years. Actually, most of the functions in the criminal division, I have explained earlier. In the all together, we have 218 officers. Then what are the other functions of the Attorney General's department? Uh, Attorney General Office, Attorney General is the chief legal officer of the country. In addition to that, he assists different agencies. For example, whenever His Excellency the President wants some advice on civil matter, it is the Attorney General. Uh, especially uh, if the parliament wants, uh, a particular bill, uh, whether it is inconsistent with the constitution, the certificate of the attorney general is important. When the president refers uh, any legal opinion to be obtained from the Supreme Court, the attorney general will be invited to assist the Supreme Court. When there are rule matters against the lawyers, attorney general will assist the Supreme Court. When there are contempt of court against any individual, Supreme Court will invite attorney general. Attorney General does not play a role of a prosecutor there. Attorney General will may assist the Supreme Court. We say amicus curiae. So that is the role of the Attorney General in those matters. Then if there are uh, elections, like a presidential election, when those uh, are challenged in the Supreme Court, Attorney General will appear for the election commission. Similarly, there are other areas. For example, uh, when the bills are challenged in the Supreme Court, it is the Attorney General who go and appear in the Supreme Court. Then uh, when there are criminal appeals in the Supreme Court, Attorney General appear. Then what about the fundamental rights application before the Supreme Court? Whenever the fundamental rights application is filed, Attorney General has to be named as a party. So those are some of the limited functions in the Supreme Court of the Attorney General. What about the Court of Appeal? Again, in the criminal or civil appeal, Attorney General appear for the state officers. Then what about the writ application? So, uh, Court of Appeal has a unique power called writ application. In those writ application, Attorney General will appear for the, the, uh, the public servant. When uh, there are parliamentary election petitions, the Attorney General will appear in the Court of Appeal uh, on behalf of the election commission and other public servants. Then uh, what about the uh, civil matters? In the commercial high courts, there are civil matters. The Attorney General will appear for the public servants' intellectual property rights then he will appear for the public servant, the registrar with regard to Ghana, the uh, trademarks. Then uh, he will appear in the district court for the public officers. Then if there are arbitrations where the government is involved, then the attorney general will appear. So then uh, what about the, the uh, preparing the contracts uh, and documents, he will appear. Then he will give advice to the public, uh, public administration ministry so likewise, Attorney General has a, a variety of role because of their skill and the talent. Always there are requests from the government department to use our officers as consultant. For example, uh, I was one time Director General of the Bribery Commission. So I was assigned from the Attorney General's department. Even uh, the, there are certain officers that has the Security and Exchange Commission. 
then second month to the other government departments. And at the moment, there are several commission of inquiry, East Sunday Commission, the commission with regard to political victimization. In all those commissions, the officers of the Attorney General, are, they, are, they are not doing the prosecution, they are assisting the commission. So likewise, whenever the parliament oversight committees are there, when they discuss various matters with regard to the development of law, our officers are always there. So generally, we appear only for the public servants. Uh, but there are uh, statutory bodies and statutory corporations. Uh, they are not required to seek the Attorney General's advice. If it's the government department, they have to seek advice of the Attorney General. But if the statutory body or statutory corporation, so they can seek Attorney General's advice. So then for those people, we have, we have recruited young lawyers on contract basis. We say we give a fiat. Fiat means it's a Latin term. Uh, Attorney General has the power to give authority to, to private sector lawyers. So they can't do any other job. They can't involve in private practice. They'll be given an allowance, but they are not state counsel. But they can go and appear in, in industrial dispute uh, court, and they can go and appear in other matters where government corporations are involved. So likewise, there are several youngsters, they go and get this experience, and though they are not state counsel, but the experience that they gather during this particular period is very important. We have a special unit called Corporation Unit. Corporation Unit has been set up in order to assist the various corporations. So therefore, since we don't have state council sufficient number, we, uh, we recruit on contract basis, we give them. Some years back, we had this non-summary unit. That means all these non-summary cases were prosecuted in the magistrate court by the police officers. There was a great uh, demand that these prosecutions should be done by the lawyers. So we went before the cabinet, we got an approval. So on contract basis, we recruited more than 50 uh, young non-summary state council. That was from 2000 onwards. So it was a very successful. Ultimately, they became state council. Some became magistrate. And some of those uh, joined as a non-summary council in the year 2000, 2001. Now, most of them are now judges in the high court. So that was the success in the non-summary unit. We don't have a non-summary unit any longer. So likewise, there are so many opportunities available in the intelligence department for you to develop yourself. Right, certainly. Okay. Uh, while moving to the latter part of the discussion, sir, what are the principles relating to a doc statement? Can you elaborate on that? Yes. Uh, what do you mean by a doc statement? I told you that uh, the accuracy is presumed to be innocent. If you look at the Constitution, Article 13, uh, our criminal justice, one of the principles is laid down there. Everyone is presumed to be innocent. That means the accused is not required to speak. Even judge can't ask the accused to speak. He can totally remain silent. So prosecution through its witnesses and according to the, in terms of the evidence ordinance, prosecution has to prove the case. Once the prosecution witnesses are given evidence, if the judge feels there is sufficient evidence, what will the judge do? Judge will ask the accused, now the prosecution has closed its case. Now there is an opportunity for the accused to follow. What are the opportunities? Accused can come to the witness box and he, if he comes to the witness box, you must give evidence under oath and you will be subject to the cross-examination of the prosecuting counsel, number one. Number two, accused can call any witness. Accused can call any witness to the witness box, then he will be subject to the same cross-examination by the prosecuting counsel, number two. Number three would be that accused can remain in the accused box that is called doc. From there, he can make a statement but he is not required to take an oath. He cannot be questioned by his own defense counsel. He cannot be questioned by the prosecution by the prosecuting counsel. Even a judge can't ask a question, but it, that is called doc statement. Even a doc statement should be regarded as evidence. Why this doc statement business came in? 
in the good olden days in england accused was not a competent witness that means you can't get into the witness box and give evidence so therefore there were several cases there was no opportunity for the accused to explain his version to the court so therefore though the law did not provide the courts allowed accused to make a statement from the place where he is that is how the doc statement was developed but later in england what happened they accepted accused has the right to give evidence from the witness box so therefore in england they did not repeal the accused the opportunity of giving evidence from the doc but they accepted accused has the right to give evidence from the witness box ultimately the doc statement system was not continued in england what happened in sri lanka we adopted the principle of doc statement from england but we did not follow with the amendment that the england brought england said doc statement is no longer evidence in england but we still continue now the question arises whether the whether doc statement has a real practical effect judges are expected to consider the doc statement but various juries have expressed the view if you make a doc statement no impact can be made actually from a doc statement from a legal point of view you sh- you can technically create a reasonable doubt but i don't know research has to be done and find out whether by making a doc statement whether the defense was able to create a reasonable doubt so in a nutshell i would say that, that is the interpretation the meaning that can be given to a doc statement okay sir uh, as the senior additional solicitor general so can you explain sir what are the future prospects of an officer of the attorney general's department okay now today yesterday we saw uh, mm-hmm. several uh, judges uh, have been appointed six judges have been appointed to the supreme court in the meantime we saw 14 judges from the high court they have been appointed as the judges of the court of appeal and one judge of the court of appeal has been appointed as the president of the court of appeal now every youngster has a dream if you join uh, the attorney general's department today you must have a dream where one day you will end up for example if you join as a state counsel if you work in the attorney general's department 5 uh, 6 years if you want you can apply to become a magistrate then uh, when you once you become a senior state counsel in the department you may have put up 15 to 20 years you have the opportunity uh, to become a judge of the high court thereafter once you become a deputy solicitor general you need at least 23 24 years to put up in the department uh, or Uh, when you become an additional solicitor general uh, you might become the have the opportunity of uh, becoming the judge of the court of appeal generally a uh, deputy solicitor general general deputy solicitor general uh, have the opportunity to become a court of appeal judge but if you are an additional solicitor general you might get the opportunity of becoming the president of the court of appeal then you if you are additional solicitor general you also have the chance of going as the one of the judges in the supreme court above that senior additional solicitor general or the solicitor general they will also have the opportunity to become a judge of the supreme court attorney general finally will have the opportunity of becoming the chief justice of this country so that is the practice and the habit Uh, that has been followed over the last several years several decades so therefore if you join as a state counsel you have all these prospects not only that life provides lot of opportunities you can go to the private practice most of the great lawyers in the private bar they were the products of that in general department or else you can go to any other institutions of local law firm so once you master your subject here what will happen you can become a, a great leader 
or great uh, advocate wherever you go. So therefore, my, my, my message to the youngsters is join the department in the early part of your life and become a great, whatever the little assignment that is given to you, the, there's, uh, the, there's no end. The sky is the limit. Once you join the intelligence department, uh, if you are passionate and analytical, you can choose whatever, the wherever you want to go. Right. So okay. with those explanations and aberrations, uh, the participants or law students, even apprentices and junior lawyers, so might they have um, and like their future ambitions and all those things, their future, they might know what to do in the future. Right. Uh, then, sir, for the uh, law students, right, they might have an idea to join the attorney general's department and uh, they, are, might, uh, they might have an eager and they might uh, dreaming uh, to become a personality like you like with these background and the landmark cases that you represent and all those things. So, sir, how should an aspiring applicant pose as a first class? You say that first classes and all those paper qualifications not survive with that thing. So how uh, should he or she, in order to apply to join the AGC department, should proceed? Uh, I must make a confession. Mm -hmm. I never had a class in my entire career. I, I have a science degree. The ordinary pass, law college, three years. I never had a class. Of course, I applied to the Kevin scholarship and I was selected. I went to Oxford without having any class. I was selected to go to Oxford and got my master's in criminal, criminal justice. So pursuing these classes is not the sole solution. You can start a discipline even now. Arrange your mind, arrange your room, arrange your home in a very meticulous manner. Think deeply, look at everything from different angles and have a discipline to write down everything you learn. Finish your work then and there on that day. Don't leave any work for tomorrow. Sometimes you pile up all those matters till tomorrow. Ultimately, life becomes very cumbersome. You finish your work, approach scientifically, bring the art to your life, enjoy the music, enjoy the art, and you try to work your full brain. All these great, great people in the world, they are not merely mathematicians. They are not merely artists. Then they use all those skills when they have other side also. For example, Leonardo da Vinci, though we think he's an artist, in fact, he's a mathematician, he's a, he, 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 he's a biologist. So likewise, Einstein, we think he's a scientist, he's a great musician. So likewise, you must cultivate, you must develop both sides of the brain. So that is what I would say, whatever little thing you do, you must enjoy and you must develop and go into the deep. For example, you must develop your soft skills. If you want to be great, become. If you want to become a great lawyer, if you do not know how to use your computer, how do you, if you don't know how to use your laptop or the mobile, how to, if you don't know the latest techniques, because tomorrow you must master the online thing, the zoom in thing, the preparing various documentation. So you must master that subject. In the meantime, uh, you must develop other skills with regard to music and art also. So likewise, my, my message is, if you are learning something today, even evidence ordinance, even evidence ordinance, I still use why, what I used at the law college. Still the, the evidence ordinance, after 32 years, still I have what I uh, learned at the law college. So when you come across any subject, you must learn and try to prepare synopsis. You must be able to catalyze, uh, prepare a document using your catalyst skill and try to prepare synopsis and how to learn how to make a presentation. If you want to give a gift to someone else, you must give the gift in a nice way. Likewise, if you want to give a document to someone in writing, you must check double, triple, even four times and see the mistakes are minimized. 
So that is the skill I think from younger days you have to develop. Right. Uh, we had a wonderful discussion, Shur. Thank you very much for joining with us. Uh, and finally, I would like to say like this. Uh, I'll say it in Singhala, according to your own words. Paul, over to my Shastra, Jastek, we had a Khanishta Niti, Nivarungen, Adunika Niti, Nivurti, and Nipudgalin, and Eva came and eat the Shishing in Balapurtun, Polo, Payagahala City. If I go Managate, the Ape Mithakshik, the Unit, the latest technology, I take a familiar with Anagat Ati again, Ape Tihas again, Ape Watapita, Ape Deval again, and Silum Deval in Paripurnovich. Niti Burti Kek, uh Khanishta Niti Nur may share state in it. Evita Tamay Obutuman, uh La Mahanswila may got Nagat may Deval Vari, Idiriata Tratter Projina Pen Mahitama, uh Ede Tamai Api uh may Kati uh Katukarna take me vage uh Janati but the need in Javaru Shastri Pravini in Samaga, Apisaka Chakarala, may Danuma apart some of the Hada Ganata, profession he uh mark the Deshana Malava, Melasin Sangha Hanekare, uh Janati Pati Nathan Jitumani, Api uh Mother Vela Vak Youth Takaramu Api uh Participants that will uh, open the session uh, for our participants. They might have many questions, so we'll sure, give a sure. uh, few, few minutes uh, for Mami, our participants. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now uh, participants, you can ask questions from our guest speaker, President's Council, Mr. Sarak Jaman. They can ask any any language, uh, uh, English, any language. Right, okay. So there's a message uh, from one of our participants. Ah, sure. uh, yeah, uh, I, I shall read it, sir. Uh, why do trials take so long and why can't we done about it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then Mama Raja Adiniti were a Katitoka Nagota, Manghitanita, Vedimuno, Naduti, one had the Pahatna the Siak. Then Nadu the Hatti and Adikar Nekadi, Kohoma the Nadu Halibirkara, Nadu Sankiavai, Adikarne, Kale, Sanda Midokana Villa Sariadu. Eva Gimatamai, Samahal Nadu Bahagan Hambene, Nana Prakara, Nitime, Tarka Idripat Kernava, Pamil Suda Namne, Lake Nane, Saki Karune. A Mulika Piva Gun Gati Yutu in Nadu Bhag Gunda Pera. In some and Dana Karmi the Yojana Kevila Tienwa, Nadu Bhag Ganda Pera, Nadua Si Nadua Sudan and Kiri Masandha, Venam Vinishakaru Patkali. Ehema Vinishakaru Patkara Mankitane, Nadu Bhaga Patangata make the Gati Gihaki. Eight Nadu the Hakti and Usavi King up in Nadu Kapati Vekaran Hambinne. In Sapita Pramukata within the Venema, Vadatma Dharmu Gani and Nadu. Eka part a cake meaning Hale Yurkaran. Anid Nadu, Ketting Avasankaran Puluana, Mamitan, Eka Hammer Pars Vetam, Harmi Vasidaika, Vitikaru, Godekal Balan in Lone, Evagam own Niti Nivarun, Hamadam, Mudagan, the Vasivanete, Evagam Apara, the Windy Taneta, Hotanate, Balagin, the Vasine, Esa Mankitan is Samikshan a Kalitu, Hariation a Kalitu, Hariation a Kurla, Mesam Bandin, a Baladaharin, Vidimat Alut Kramaveda. Handunwa the to my. So there's another question. Uh, so your book, Yali Maven Ampara, the exam participants need to know. So where can they buy this book? At the Kiran Mangitani Potha then ne. They das Pahalave Ega Diatkare Columba Niti Sangabe Tamai Karanuk Hagadakate Derue Mamahitano Tava Rudda. Masagana Catulata, they want a modern reand. A duna modern at a yam, Mangitan Anivari was same Lanka, we proceed the put Sala al Maikadana, but a gil like a Gana Pulva, Eka Tulatienava, Kohoma the Aparade at Tuladi, Nadua Tuladi, the Aparade Sidivite Vidia Yali Mavan, Yali Mavan Koheda, Vincent Tumagi, Manasaki and a canvas seke, a Manse Mavan a canvas seker. I guess skillfully, Daxalessa, Pamila Mihaniti Narakran. Idi Mange Pote, 
ඔය ටෝනි මාර්ටන් රගර් ෆීල්ඩ් එකේගේ නඩුවද සරත් අඹේපිදේ මහත්මයාගේ නඩුවද ඒ නඩු ගැන කීපයක් තියෙනවා තවත් පොත් කීපයක් මම මතු අනාගතයේදී ග්‍රන්ථයක් විදියට එරි දක්වයි මොකද සමහරට තා මාස ගන්නකින් මම මගේ වෘත්තියේ ජීවිතේ වෙනත් පියවරක අඩියක් තබන්න ඉඩ තියෙනවා ඒ නිසා මගේ කාලය තිබ තිබීමේ ක්‍රමවේදය අනුව මම පොත් ගණනාවක් රචනා කරන්න හිතාන ඉන්නවා ඔබට මම හිතන්නේ තව අවස්ථාවන් ගණනාවක් ඉදිරියේදී උදා වෙයි දෙවන මුද්‍රණයට ගියාම ඔබට මේ පොත ගන්න පුළුවන් වෙයි හැබැයි සමහර දේශ නීතිඥවරු ගාව තියෙනවා සමහර කොළඹ මම හිතන්නේ නීති විද්‍යාලයේ පීඨයේ බලන්න නීති පීඨයේ බලන්න මම ඒ වගේ ආචාර්ය මණ්ඩල ඔක්කොටම ආරාධනා කරා ඒ මගේ පොත දියත් කිරීමේ උත්සවයට अनागते බොහොම වැදගත් කරුණ අපිත් එක්ක එකතු කරාට සර් මට ප්‍රශ්නයක් තියෙනවා සර් ඒක නීති මේ වෙත්තෙන් නම් ඉතුරු ලොකු ප්‍රශ්නයක් නෙවෙයි මට ප්‍රොෆෂන් එකට ආවට පස්සේ සිද්ධ වෙන්න පුළුවන් දෙයක් ගැන සර් සර් කිව්වා සර්ට සර්ගේ පවුල් ඇත්තටම වෙන කවුරුත් නීතිඥවරු නීති වෘත්තියට අදාළ කෙනෙක් හිටියේ නැහැ කියලා ඉතින් ඒ වගේ අවස්ථාවක සර් අපි නීති වෘත්තියට ආවට පස්සේ නීතිඥවරයෙක් විදිහට අපිට පවුලේ කාගේ හරි ප්‍රශ්නයක් කාගේ හරි නඩුවක් එහෙම නැත්නම් අපි හොඳටම දන්න යාළුවෙක්ගේ නඩුවක් අපිට යොමු කරොත් සර් අපිට සමහර විට ඒක يعني දිනන්න බැරි පැත්තක් වෙන්නත් පුළුවන්. එහෙම අවස්ථාවක සර් සමහර විට අපි ඒක නඩුව බාරගෙන අපි කතා කරොත් එහෙම මේ නඩුව පස්සේ අපේට තිබ්බ සම්බන්ධතාව කොහොම නැති වෙලා යන්නත් ඉඩ තියෙනවා. මොකද අපෙන් බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ අතර නඩුව දින ලෙවරලා අපි නීති විද්‍යාවරයෙක් විදියට පවුල් වලට හරි යාළු වලට හරි දෙයක් කොහොම හරි කරලා දෙයි කියලා. ඒ වගේ අවස්ථාවක් අවුස් සර් අපි කොහොමද සර් ඒ වගේ දෙයක් මේ හැන්ඩල් කරගන්න සර්. ඒකට එහෙම අවස්ථාවක් අවුස් සර්. मतक सामान्य ओबगे मित्र का मनीषा, ओबगे यालो बढ़ गील किए ना आदर, ये सालियागार इट गील ला, ये ये सेट कम करन किए, मैं ये 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 कनेक्टा के जीविते बेरगन लोड नंग, ये सेस्ट्रे ये खारना आगे ना होंदर आद्या की मत्ती ना पालपुरु दो, साल्ले वाइट दिवर एट तमाई ये जीविते बार दे, अपे यालो कमाई उर्तिया पटलवागन � ඒ සේවාදායකයන් වෙනුවෙන් කරන්න පුළුවන් ඉහෙලම දේ වෘත්තිය මට්ටමින් ඉහෙලම කරන්න. අපි සේවාදායකයත් එක්ක බැඳුනොත් එහෙම බැඳෙන්නේ නැහැ මානසිකව බැඳෙනවා නම් එහෙම නැත්නම් හැඟීම් බරව බැඳෙනවා නම් අපිට ඒ රාජකාරී කවදාවත් කරන්න බෑ. ඒකනේ කියන්න කවදාවත් නීතිජ මහත්මයෙ විත්තිකරුවෙක් වුණොත් කවදාවත් තමන්ගේ නඩුව තමන් කරන්න එපා. ඇයි? තමන්ට යථාර්ථය පේන්නේ නැහැ. තමන්ට मित्रेल single one excuse me sir this is not actually the law uh, when uh, you were the dg of uh, bribery commission you have conducted some interviews i have selected for the investigation officer 
still they didn't take when <laughs> will they give the appointment sir you know uh, i may have said various times during my interviews uh, we never have had any graduates in the bribery commission uh, if we want to strengthen real anti corruption regime in this country you need to have quality investigators in other countries like bhutan singapore malaysia uh, police officers are not there in the bribery commission it is the engineers the accountants and others they are the investigators that is why with great difficulty i was able to create 200 posts for graduate investigators in fact we went through very formal very independent selection process before i left we selected 200 investigators and 50 prevention officers they have already been selected but now i don't have the authority to speak on behalf of the cebok because i am no longer there i and i hope and pray the new government will expedite the process in recruiting so that the bribery commission will be strengthened and that will be a great boost for the anti corruption campaign in this country thank you so much thank you very much sir at uh, as we are running out of time we have come to the end of the session so today we spoke about uh, the criminal jurisdiction criminal system criminal law with regard to the ag's department attorney general so today we spoke about we spoke with uh, mr saraj jaman president council senior additional solicitor general of attorney general's department thank you very much sir for joining with us with pro studies profession and with lead generation to advise the law students apprentices and junior lawyers amidst a huge workload and thank you very much once again today uh, we had participants from this online zoom platform and even from the facebook live transmission from leads generation and pro studies facebook pages so we thank all the participants who joined with us today with this session and especially to our guest speaker senior additional solicitor general president's council mr saraj jaman thank you sir thank you very much and for joining us give, give me a one minute please Acharya, Certainly. Thank you very sure. much for you and Vimukti Karnaratna and you all colleagues in the profession uh, organization for this uh, great endeavor in encouraging the youngsters because nowadays they don't have the opportunity to listen to the seniors and I take it's a great privilege to have been invited uh, to share my experience with you all and uh, I again say uh, you have a great future ahead of you all the participants and thank this is our country. Sir. and if you want to have a justice system you must learn the law and practice have the confidence and courage your integrity should be high level and thank you very much for inviting again me and we'll see you once again on another forum of this nature wish you all the best in your all your future endeavors thank you so much thank you very much sir thank you very much and wish you all the very best and together with pro studies and lead generation we brought you this wonderful experience and to hope to expand the horizons widen your knowledge and heighten your courage and to enter the profession without fear awake the professional in you thank you very much